What's up everybody? Welcome back to Exotic Astrology and today we will discuss on another interesting topic. Somebody had asked me a question and I was taken aback. I was very happy. I was delighted to see the question and some similar questions and queries I also had asked to some of my Shiksha Gurus in the earlier, in the initial days of my spiritual journey. So I would like to share those instances here today in this video. Alright, so if you are new to the channel and if you have not yet subscribed, then please subscribe to it and if you want a consultation then please approach me to my website the link is there in the description below please go there and see the different options all right and before i begin as i always say and today probably is most required to say this that god is there with you all the time all 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 the time just look to him and you will find him now the other day i was asked a question that how can we trust god Yes, it's a very important question because many a times we embark on our spiritual journey and things don't go our way. Yes, 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 things don't go our way. Sometimes or most of the times we see in this world that things don't go our way. There are reversals which we encounter. We plan that they should be like this and then it's completely the opposite. Sometimes exactly that which we don't want happen should i repeat sometimes exactly that which we don't want happens but one of my gurus said that sometimes exactly what you don't want is the thing which you need should i repeat sometimes exactly that which you don't want is the thing that you need for example suppose there's a student he's very notorious he doesn't want to study but the mother takes a stick and starts hitting the child. One, two, three, four, five. The mother behaves like Hitler and she appears like this goddess of death which will devour this child externally. But uh, after that, the end result is the child sits and studies because without that stick, the child will not study. So sometimes the child doesn't want to study. Studying is the last thing the child wants to do. But that is the thing which he needs the most at that time because if he doesn't study he will fail in the exams so even in our lives it happens sometimes we get uh, especially i get messages where people tell me oh this relationship didn't work out this partner left me that person ditched me that person doesn't reply to me that person doesn't message me well god is not uh, your enemy god is simply now showing you look you were trusting this person that is what this person is actually so the things that we don't want for example we don't want that this person doesn't reply to us we don't want that this person does not cut their connections with us yes that is exactly the thing that is needed at that point sometimes most of the times in fact because without that we cannot see the reality as they say that when the ocean is very disturbed all the impurities also keep floating. Yes, have you seen the oceans? But when the ocean is very calm, it's peaceful, then you will see all the impurities come to the shore and you see all the dirty things which are there. So basically, when things become more clearer, we understand who actually is who <laughs> and what actually is the situation. Many people tell me that, oh, I have been fired from this job. I lost my job. I could not continue with the job. Well, that is only happening because it can happen due to many reasons. But one of the most important reasons is that you are not capable of doing that job, which simply means you should not be doing that job. Yes. Now, there can be politics and all those different uh, reasons why you are being thrown out of the company. That's different. I'm not talking of all those here. Or there's some uh, false allegation against you. But in general, I'm saying. But due to some reason, if your boss says that, no, I will not keep you here. That means you are sitting in the wrong place. You should not be sitting there. It is, forget the company. It is more harmful for you to sit there than the company to take you or to keep you. Because you are doing something which you don't want to do. Because if you are, if you are liking something which you do, then you will do it sincerely. You will do it seriously. You will not just... Uh, work in a way that the boss feels that oh I, will, I, I can't keep you here I have to throw you out of the company so sometimes in our life 
because primarily uh, two areas we face challenges right it is career and relationship so it can happen in our life that some people in case of relationships it can be anybody your mother father or your son daughter daughter in law son in law <laughs> your uncle your aunt mosa masi mas, so many people right cha 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 chi mama mami phupha phuphi <laughs> so uh, these people can sometimes they can behave in ways which we do not want and then we see their reality the other day some body was telling me that oh my daughter uh, i mean she, that lady was from a hindu family and that her daughter ran with a muslim guy yes and then i she told me that oh she did not pay heed to my advice she did not care about me she did not give a damn about me basically that's what the mother was telling even if i told her don't run away with this muslim guy our reputation will be spoiled n number of things she said so cutting the long story short she said that i'm devastated by this uh, by the act of this uh, my daughter what should i do now i don't have anybody she has left me my husband has passed and i don't have a son take care of me nobody is there then i told her there my dear madam you are not angry with your daughter because she ran away with a muslim that's not the reason you are angry the ultimate reason why you are angry or disappointed with your daughter is she did not care for you right she did not pay heed to you that's the main reason she did not value you she she has shown you uh, the place which uh, you have इन हर लाइफ ना एज इन हिंदी दे से ना उसने आपको अपनी औकात दिखाई है शी एज शोन यू दैट यू बिलोंग दैर यू सी यू आर नॉट माई प्रायोरिटी सो फोकेट अबाउट ऑल दिस मुस्लिम हिंदू एंड ऑल दिस नॉन्स एंड जस्ट फोकेट अबाउट ऑल दिस आई सेट थैंक गुडनेस दैट नाउ दिस नाउ योर सो कॉल डॉटर शी हैज शोन हर कलर्स नाउ ओनली आई टोल्ड हर दैट बिकॉज यू आर इन योर फिफ्टीज नाउ यू कैन एटलीस्ट earn something you can save some money till the time you are 60 yes till the time you are 65 10 15 years you can anyways work and then you can at least uh bring your life to a situation where you don't depend don't have to depend on anybody yes so you wanted that your daughter listens to you but that didn't happen because god showed you now itself that look as in hindi they say na kiske bharose baithi ho who's uh, you were sitting uh, with this hope that this daughter will protect you in your future no look what she did now yes all this hindu muslim thing that that's just a detail forget about all those things but i said if now only she has behaved like this imagine what would have happened if you would have depended on her in future yes so thank god that happened now so many a times the surgery has to be done surgery <laughs> surgery is always painful yes the doctor takes the knife the surgeon will pierce the body and he will take out the tumor or the cancer cells or what whatever it is yes that place where it has been afflicted <laughs> so when that affliction is removed then the remaining part of the body can function properly so suppose there is a problem in the gallbladder that can be removed if there is a problem in the in different parts yes then removing that becomes like a life for the entire body so sometimes in areas of our career or our relationships surgeries have to be done painful things has has to be done because uh, it is said that if somebody is sincere in their spiritual practices then god will show them the way because they say when the student is ready the master shall appear should i repeat when the student is ready the master shall appear so master necessarily is not the guru who comes and delivers the disciple it can be to anybody for that lady the daughter acted as a master yes because she gave her a uh, great lessons of life that don't depend on anybody sometimes your uh, most close associates can also betray you they may not do it willingly but ultimately you get betrayed sometimes yes it has happened with me also i think that oh this person is there and then the next morning it's gone bang on the person disappears and i'm like oh where were you what what is your phone number and then i'm like oh that's it end of the story so that happens with everybody's life <coughs> and similarly in matters of career also if you are facing 
uh, if you are feeling that uh, you are you are being thrown out of the job well then go and find some job which you can do which you should be doing actually because that is where you lie because if you have been thrown out from a job it means that that was more than what you could handle so you should be happy and you should trust god that he has done exactly that which is needed for me many people they are fired from their job and they open their own company and then they become millionaires and billionaires so i have made a video uh, earlier on uh, the spirituality and the game of chess so please go to my channel and type c h e w s so you can see that video that how our life is like a game of chess and when we take to spirituality then uh, god will arrange every what this you know that pony <laughs> every every character of the, of the chess board is like every aspect of our life so sometimes i have seen that people they go on taking intoxicants and then finally the doctor says you have got this disease so till that time the person doesn't stop so sometimes painful surgeries have to be done and we need to keep our trust in god that as lord krishna says in the gita that suridam sarva bhutanam gyatva mam shantim ruchati which means that i am the most well wishing friend of everybody so if we are sincere in our spiritual practices and in our determination then we will eventually realize that everything will fall into place yes everything actually fell into place <laughs> which means that now when we are embarking in our uh, journey ahead towards the spirituality now from this mundane point of existence we may not be able to understand oh, why god is doing like this why god is doing like that yes but later on when you look back you will see that god had perfectly made the arrangement he had the perfect plan to bring us close to the reality of life so because of that we need to understand that god is all powerful yes they say na god is omnipotent which means he can do anything so if he can do anything then he can also do that which is best for us so i had made many videos in my channel regarding this so i also had made a video definition of having faith in god so in that i said that having faith in god doesn't mean that god will give us what we want god will give us what we need that is the definition of faith should i repeat god will not give us what we want all the time but god will definitely give us what we need want means what you desire to have in life yes 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 i should have this i should have this girl i should have that boy yes but need means what you should have in your life which will give you fulfillment in the long run that's the difference between the word want and need yes these are the two words so Uh, many times as the shrimad bhagavatam says halava bhaktasya kuto mahat gunan manorathe na sati dhavato bahi which means that the mind of a materialistic person manoratha is like the chariot yes manorathe na sati dhavato bahi is going from one place to the other today i like this bo- girlfriend today i like that boyfriend yes sometimes um, i i like this person and after one year i don't like this person today i like this job today i like that job today i like cricket tomorrow i like football yes sometimes i like counter strike then i like pornography and then then i visit prostitutes also so the mind of a materialistic person is simply driving him nuts crazy 24 hours nothing else is happening today the mind says go here tomorrow the mind kicks him and says go there yes go to go and take chocolate ice cream oh tomorrow is strawberry yes oh no 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 tomorrow is uh, blueberry ice cream yes oh no 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 tomorrow is vanilla maybe so the mind of a materialistic person is simply driving him nuts crazy all the time so in that in that craziness we may feel that oh today i want this person i want that person i want this i want that but maybe it is not what we actually need need means for our actual benefit in reality so when god sees that we are behaving in ways which will not give us fulfillment provided we are sincere in our purpose now if you are only a mundane materialistic person having no spiritual goals then don't worry this video is not for you because then you are simply in the cycle of karma and the nine planets you are going on and on and on and on and on and on on no <laughs> yes then whatever is there in your karma will always happen but when you embark on your spiritual journey and you try to go close to god then you will realize that uh, god is now taking care of my life he is personally orchestrating each and every event 
and then you realize that whatever actually happened with me when i started my spiritual journey whatever obstacles you had encountered those were actually the reasons why i took more shelter in god take the example of the upadi she is the uh, prime example in this area yes i mean she did everything to protect her honor when she was uh, planned to be stripped the draupadi vastaharan that incidents that most horrifying inc- incidents of the entire mahabharat we all know about that what happened she was running to bhishma she was running to yudhishthir she was running to dhritarashtra she was running to everybody but nothing happened she could not at the end she surrendered to lord krishna and then only and only then lord krishna came s yes, and in some places it is also said that when draupadi was been dragged to the assembly to the kuru sabha <coughs> rukmini had asked lord krishna that oh my dear lord look at her precarious state why are you not going and protecting her then lord krishna was playing the flute and lord krishna is telling to rukmini what can i do she is not calling me she is only calling bhishma she is only calling to drona she is calling to yudhishthir she is calling to all these people she is not interested in me she doesn't want me she is not calling me but the moment she understood that oh my sari is going to fall now <laughs> it's a that's it i've had it i can't then when she called to krishna then krishna came so sometimes krishna will do that which uh, is very painful but we have to trust him because ultimately in the kurukshetra war the pandavas were victorious that was the end result they obtained victory through all the try and the trials and tribulations end result is beautiful so always re- remember the end result the journey will be very painful yes as kunti marani says in the queen kunti prayers that let my consciousness flow towards you like the ganges flows towards the ocean which means she says that oh lord krishna may i always think of you whatever irrespective of whatever is the external situation which means that like the river always keeps going if there's a stone the river will go above the stone it will flow over it if there's a mountain the river will cross the mountain the river is not thinking oh there's this mountain now how can i cross there's this stone there's this rock there's this valley no the river nobody can stop the river so kunti marani prays to lord krishna that just like the river goes and meets the ocean without any hindrance hindrance doesn't mean there is no opposition but whatever is the opposition the river always goes and meets the ocean so kunti marani prays that may my consciousness also flow towards you like that so that is a very beautiful play, prayer which he has we we will discuss about those prayers in the Bhag- bhagavad gita playlist which i have and all those things are there on the list so sometimes god will do painful surgeries but always remember he is uh, omnipotent as they say he can do everything he can do anything anywhere anytime <laughs> so he will do things at the least expected moment in the least expected way by the least expected persons you will think that oh this person is like my soulmate and then suddenly god does something and that person throws you out of their life yes and then you are wondering what did, what did i do mere sath aisa kyu hota hai bar bar as people tell me why am i always a victim of this injustice of the world so be patient the end result is beautiful all right so that is what i would say and even in my life if i look back i see so many difficulties which i had faced in the initial days of my spiritual life but now i understand if those difficulties would not be there i would uh, not uh, take to spirituality seriously and i would stay there itself and i would not try to come out of the mundane materialistic circle which i had there so therefore whatever happened in the initial days of my spiritual life it was for my ultimate benefit so that is what i had realized all right so the answer to the question is very simple that trust god he is all powerful and he actually knows what is best for us so you, in these lines you can watch those two videos the video chess you can type in my channel c h e s s spirituality and the game of chess i guess and then so many videos i have yes how to be a yogi in the city that also you can watch recently i have uploaded that also how to be a yogi inside taj hotel <laughs> 
so that video also you can watch and so many other videos gita series you can watch so by watching all these things and by reading the scriptures by associating with the uh, holy saints and sages nearby our center by visiting holy places yes and by discussing about spiritual topics within our home within our family within our friend circle we will find that we understand that god is orchestrating our life in ways which we cannot understand all right until next time wish you good luck bye bye see you